Commencement exercises are held primarily for graduates and their families. They are dignified ceremonies. Courtesy, attention, and decorum are important and expected. All present should remain seated until the conclusion of the ceremonies. The last graduate is as important as the first. No person should leave the ceremonies until they are concluded in their entirety. As a courtesy to those around you, please turn off any cellular phones or put them on silent mode during the ceremonies. Everyone is requested to stand for the Parade of Colors. Everyone is requested to stand for the Parade of Colors.
Thank you, audience. You may now be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the candidates for graduation of the Primary 6 Class of 2023. And now, the candidates for graduation of Junior College 2, Class of 2023.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Bina Bangsa School, faculty, staff, administration, and guest of honor. Let us all stand for the national anthem to be led by Ms. Asui Josafat, followed immediately by the doxology led by the graduating class of 2023.
will bless the Lord forever, and I will trust Him at all times. He has delivered me from all fear, and He has set my feet upon a rock. I will not be weary, and I'll say of the Lord, You are my fear, my strength, my portion, deliverer, my shelter, strong tower, my very present help in time of need. Whom have I in heaven but you? There is none I desire beside you. Gracious and caring God, you never fail to surround us with your grace. We thank you for the completion of another academic year. Bless us with hope so that we move into the future with eager and open hearts. Continue to bless and guide us as we chart new beginnings. Help us put the knowledge, skills, and insights gained to make the world a better place, to help others, and to always seek the greater good. May we live our life to praise you, not for fame, nor for wealth, but to bring glory to your name. Inspire us to believe in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As we start a new chapter in our lives, may we grow even more grateful and wise. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Graduates, parents, teachers, administration, staff, and guests. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone to the 20th commencement exercises of Pinabangsa School Malang. I will now invite Ms. Yudi Satyaningsi, the principal of the secondary department, for the call to order. I hereby call the Binabangsa School 2023 Commencement Exercises to order. Thank you, Ms. Yudi. May I call on Audrey Lee Maria Cindy Ong, the Batch Salutatorian, for the welcome address. Good morning, honored guests, proud teachers and parents, faculty and my fellow graduates of the class of 2023. 
It is with great honor and gratitude that I stand before you to provide today's warm welcome. First and foremost, I would like to express my deepest appreciation to our exceptional teachers for providing us with your unwavering support and unbelievable patience in putting up with us. I'm genuinely surprised you can all put up with us doing homework 10 minutes after their due dates, playing cards secretly during class, and taking nap breaks in between discussions. But most importantly, it is your guidance that has led us to be present here right now. We are forever grateful. To our parents and families, thank you for the endless sacrifice that allowed us to obtain the opportunities along the way, leading us to this very moment. I am grateful for my parents for dealing with my silent treatments, blasting music at 3 a.m., and lasting a whole day just by a protein shake. Thank you for still making sure I'm doing okay mentally and physically. To my fellow distinguished graduates, congratulations. We have weathered numerous obstacles, triumphed over adversity, and demonstrated resilience. As we embark on our next journey, let us not forget the valuable lessons learned and relationships built. Beyond the walls of the classroom, we have learned the meaning of friendship, the importance of dedication, and the true definition of a family. I learned that we are a tapestry of diverse individuals, each with their own unique talents, dreams, and aspirations. Together, we have formed a vibrant and inclusive community that celebrates our differences and cherishes our shared experiences. From that, we have truly grown together as a whole and as individuals. It is truly my honor to welcome you all to witness our accomplishments. These accomplishments are testament to our collective hard work and persistent commitment to excellence. Our time here may be coming to an end, but the impact we will have on the world has only just begun. Thank you, and may the future be filled with endless opportunities and success for each and every one of us. Good morning. Thank you, Cindy, for your words of welcome. It is my distinct privilege to invite on stage the BBS Supervisor for Operations for an inspirational talk. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Hendro Vijaya. Good morning, everyone. Jerry Bufera, the school director, and Mr. Rogelio, and Ms. Yudi as the principal, and of course, proud parents, uh, teachers, and most importantly, the remarkable graduates of Bina Bangsa School, Malang Campus. Today, we gather here to celebrate an extraordinary milestone, the graduation of our exceptional students. It is a moment filled with pride, joy, and a touch of nostalgia as we bid farewell to the students who have grown, thrived, and left an indelible mark on our school community. To the graduates, I stand before you with immense pride and admiration and gratitude. You have overcome challenges, pursued knowledge, and displayed unwavering determination throughout your academic journey. Each one of you embodies the spirit of resilience, curiosity, and the relentless pursuit of excellence. Today, we honor your achievements and celebrate the remarkable individuals you have become. Your time in this school has been a transformative experience where you have not only gained knowledge, but also forged friendship and discovered your passions. You have navigated the labyrinth of textbooks, exams, and assignments, all while discovering your unique talents, interests, and strengths. Your achievement, both academics and personal, are a testament to your dedication and hard work. Today, 
we also acknowledge the invaluable support of our exceptional faculty members. These dedicated educators have gone above and beyond to provide you with guidance, inspiration, and mentorship. They have nurtured your potential, sparked your curiosity, and believed in your abilities even when you doubted yourselves. As you stand on the precipice of the new beginnings, remember that graduation is not an end, but a commencement, a starting point that launches you into the vast ocean of possibilities. Embrace the opportunities that lie ahead with open arms and an unyielding spirit of adventure. Have the courage to dream big, for it is through audacious dreams that extraordinary accomplishments are achieved. But let us not forget that success is not measured solely by academic accolades or material wealth. True success lies in the impact you have on others, the integrity you demonstrate in your actions, and the empathy and compassion you extend to those around you. As you embark on your individual journeys, let these values be your compass, guiding you towards a life of purpose and fulfillment. Graduation is also a time of reflection as we look back at the friendships forged, the lessons learned, and the memories shared. Cherish these moments. And lastly, I would like to say congratulations as you step out into the wider world, ready to make your mark. Always remember the significance of giving back. Our society needs compassionate leaders who advocate for positive change, who uplift the marginalized, and who contribute to the betterment of our communities. Embrace your responsibility as agents of progress and let your actions serve as beacons of hope for a brighter future. Congratulations, class of 2023. So high, thank you. I would now like to invite Ms. Yudi Satyaningsi, the principal of the secondary department, Mr. Rogelio Longakit, the principal of the primary department, for the presentation of candidates to Mr. Hendro Wijaya. Mr. Hendro, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for graduation of primary school. They have successfully completed the requirements set by Binabangsa School. Mr. Hendro, I have the honor of presenting to you the candidates for graduation of junior college. They have successfully completed the requirements set by Binabangsa School. By the power vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I now confirm you graduates. Congratulations. May we request for Mr. Hendro and Mr. Rogelio Longakit to remain on stage. Proverbs 18 verse 16 says, A gift opens the way and ushers the giver into the presence of the great. We now acknowledge the achievements of students and their contributions to the academic eminence of the school. I now invite Ms. Eunice Amorado to read the citations for the Primary 6 Awards. With pride, I present to you the graduates of Primary 6.
Athanasius Evan Santoso English language Bronze Chinese language Silver Bahasa Indonesia Bronze Science Bronze Avelin Amnesty Sutanto English language Bronze Chinese language Bronze Christian Cornia Tantono English language Bronze Chinese language Silver Bahasa Indonesia Bronze Science Bronze Project Bronze Elena Lorencia Pangat English language Bronze Chinese language Silver Bahasa Indonesia Bronze Mathematics Bronze Science Bronze Project Bronze Felicia Sally Lim English language Silver Chinese language Bronze Bahasa Indonesia Silver Mathematics Bronze Science Bronze Project Silver Fiona Lavinia Richel English language Silver Chinese language Gold Bahasa Indonesia Bronze Mathematics Bronze Science Silver Project Silver Leadership Award
Floyd Kirsten Jonathan, English language, bronze, Chinese language, bronze, Bahasa Indonesia, bronze, mathematics, bronze, science, bronze, project, silver. Kimberly Christabel, English language, silver, Chinese language, gold, Bahasa Indonesia, gold, mathematics, bronze, science, bronze, project, bronze. Kimberly Jethro Kosomo, English language, silver, Chinese language, gold, Bahasa Indonesia, bronze, science, bronze, project, bronze. Misha Gabriel Lee, English language, bronze, Chinese language, bronze, project, bronze. Russell Lewis, English language, bronze, mathematics, silver, science, bronze, project, silver. Shalina Clarabel Wirio Sotanto, English language, bronze, Chinese language, gold, Bahasa Indonesia, gold, mathematics, bronze, science, bronze, project, silver. Sydney Sichiesa, English language, silver, Chinese language, gold, Bahasa Indonesia, gold, 
Mathematics, Bronze Science, Silver Project, Silver Jaden Benedictio Pranoto English language, gold Chinese language, gold Bahasa Indonesia, silver Mathematics, gold Science, silver Project, bronze Best in Conduct Award Third Honors, bronze medal Gregory Kurnyadi Wijaya English language, silver Chinese language, gold Bahasa Indonesia, silver Mathematics, gold Science, silver Project, silver Second Honors, silver medal Kinsi Waluyo Lin English language, gold Chinese language, gold Bahasa Indonesia, gold Mathematics, gold Science, gold Project, silver First Honors, gold medal Thank you, Ms. Eunice. 
I now invite Ms. Yudi Satyaningsi back on stage to assist Mr. Hendro with the awarding of certificates to the junior college graduates. I also invite Mr. Defli Yosia Kairuban to read the citations for the junior college awards. With pride, I present to you the graduates of Junior College 2. Anindira Serlinda Putri. Loyalty Award, Dulos Award. Bridget Elsia Eleonora Outstanding Achievement Award Dulos Award Loyalty Award Brian Ryan Lee, Outstanding Achievement Award, Loyalty Award.
Carissa Clarence Feodora Leadership Award Dulos Award Loyalty Award Chelsea Anastasia Lim Dulos Award Loyalty Award Delaila Alodia Fairgrief Perseverance Award Geraldine Sefania Sidiarta Outstanding Achievement Award Dulos Award Loyalty Award Excellence in Character Award
Jason Sutanto Perseverance Award Jennifer Chang Perseverance Award Kevin Santoso, Outstanding Achievement Award. Kimberly Magnificia Pranoto Dulos Award
Maria Florencia Chandra Perseverance Award Maria Siddhartha Loyalty Award Marvela Felica Alessandra Loyalty Award Michelle Prayogo Loyalty Award Patricia Elin Loyalty Award 
Outstanding Achievement Award. Ratri Khaira Rosadi Outstanding Achievement Award Perseverance Award Romano Azur Tabuklin Longakit Outstanding Achievement Award Excellence in Character Award Salsa Bella Floranida Perseverance Award Tania Alexas Bastian Lee Excellence in Sports Award Loyalty Award
Audrey Maria Cindy Ong Salutatorian Loyalty Award Outstanding Achievement Award Leadership Award Caitlin Gabriela Santoso Valedictorian Outstanding Achievement Award Loyalty Award Perseverance Award Excellence in Character Award Thank you, Mr. Hendro and Ms. Yudi. Graduation ceremonies signify the end of one journey, but also the start of a new one. Let us look back on the years that our graduates have spent with us. Please relax and enjoy the video. It's hard. 
Always knew this day would come. We'd be standing one by one with our future in our hands. So many dreams, so many plans. I always knew after all these years, there'd be laughter, there'd be tears. But never thought I'd walk away with so much joy, but so much pain.
I would now like to invite on stage Caitlin Gabriela Santoso for her valedictory address. Good morning, teachers, parents, and fellow graduates. First and foremost, on behalf of Junior College Two, graduating batch of 2023, I would like to thank all of the teachers whose unwavering commitment and belief in our potential have shaped our minds and nurtured our spirits. I would also like to extend my appreciation to my parents for being a fundamental part of my support system. Thank you for making sure I was eating well, sleeping enough, and taking care of my health and for being patient enough to handle my brooding moments without taking them to heart. For my classmates, I am brimming with gratitude and admiration for the remarkable journey we have shared together. From JC2 tribute dance practices, friendship games, sports day, and out of school futsal matches, to the small moments in class when we were all stressed and laughed at even the tiniest of things. Beyond being pillars of support during my personal challenges, I'm honored to have had the privilege of being a confidant and an extended hand to each of you. New friendships are bound to form, especially as we open this new chapter of life that starts with university and eventually our careers. But to me, and probably a number of you, the friendships we have made here so far are the ones we can trust to stick. So at every chance we get, let's have reunions so we don't take these precious relationships for granted. It feels like it was only yesterday that my brother and I both graduated. Me in blue, him in black. Now I'm the one dressed in a black gown, bidding my farewell to high school while he's heading off to Dubai for his masters. So to stand here today somewhat feels nostalgic to me. To share my academic experience, I was not very competitive until these recent years. Since primary up until secondary two, I merely aimed to get decent scores. 
However, it all changed when I was influenced by some of our seniors. They worked very diligently and got grades that reflected their hard work. And so I wondered if I could do better than what I was doing back then, and I got motivated to do the same. I made some changes. I wrote notes for each subject, but more importantly, I made sure I fully comprehended each concept. That's when I started seeing visible results in my tests and in my report cards, and I thrived off of them. Truthfully, as I set my standards higher, I felt greater pressure on my shoulders, notably for AS and A levels. Naturally, I got frustrated whenever I didn't meet the standards I set for myself. This was especially true for my IGCSEs. While I hoped to ace on all my subjects, in reality, I got scores that were below my expectations. But what truly devastated me was my English. Although I knew there was room for improvement, English was my forte. To my disappointment, my IGCSE certainly didn't reflect that. This absolutely tilted my self-esteem off its axis, and I immediately viewed general paper essays as my kryptonite. I always second-guessed myself whenever I did practice essays, which led to mediocre work. Nonetheless, working towards the A-levels, I decided to shut down my doubtful thoughts. Slowly, with Mr. Bradley's insightful critiques, I stopped looking at essays as if they were mountains that had to be moved, and my self-confidence started to build. Likewise, I pushed myself to work harder on other subjects, even to the point of studying until 3 a.m. on a regular basis. It wasn't healthy, and my dad would strongly agree. But I was obsessive at that point, and I figured that after the exams, I could finally rest. Outside of academics, I also devoted a lot of time and effort on events. As Secretary General for MUN, as a host and committee member for school activities, to name a few. Occasionally, these roles had their challenges. Regardless, I also had fun and learned a lot about myself in the process. It was very much worth it. With that being said, it's more than an honor to be standing here on this momentous occasion as your valedictorian, as a representative of this year's extraordinary graduating batch. This is what I hope you guys can do for yourselves, and not just in academics. Setting higher expectations for yourselves might be scary, especially if you're not sure you're gonna meet them. However, I can assure you that despite all the stress and hardships, you'll turn out to be a more resilient person. William Ernest Henley, a famous poet in the Victorian era, once wrote, you can be the master of your fate, you can be the captain of your soul, but you have to realize that that life comes from you and not at you. So please, have dreams for yourselves and work passionately towards making them a reality. Adversities that cause heartbreak and feel unfair are inevitable. Yet, I urge you to not let them define you or drive you away from the pursuit of your goals. Let us embark on this new chapter, armed with wisdom gained from the past, excitement born from the present, and infinite possibilities held by the future. Thank you.
all here and speaking now with one voice. We're gonna rock the house, yeah, yeah. The party's on, now everybody make some noise. Come on, scream and shout. All in this together Once we know that we are world stars And we see that we're all in this together Can we show, can we stand and can make our dreams come We're all in this together Can we wish we can fly, no inside we can And we take it VBS, sing along Yeah, you really got it going on VBS, everywhere Everybody say it now VBS, everywhere Wave your hands up in the air That's the way we do it Let's get to it, time to show the world All in this together Once we know that we are world stars And we see that we're all in this together And it shows where we stand and in hand Make our dreams come We're all in this together Once we reach, we can find No inside, we can make it We're all in this together BBS everywhere, wave your hands up in the air That's the way we do it, let's get to it, come on everyone <laughs> The graduates will now proclaim their pledge of loyalty to Binabangsa School. I would like to invite Michelle Priogo to lead the graduates. Please stand. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. We, the graduates of 2023, do hereby solemnly pledge to remain faithful to the teachings of Binabangsa School, exemplifying the virtues of integrity, Courage, Courage, empathy, empathy teamwork, teamwork, perseverance, perseverance responsibility, responsibility, motivation, motivation and, humility. and humility. In the fulfillment of our duties towards God, our country, and our fellow men. So help us, God. Thank you, Michelle. Please be seated. The Stole of Gratitude is a way for graduates to demonstrate their appreciation for those who helped turn their dream of a college education into a reality at the commencement ceremony. Now, the graduates will bequeath the Stole of Gratitude to the parents. I would like to invite Geraldine Zefania to present the Soul of Gratitude on behalf of the graduating class. Our Stole of Gratitude represents our appreciation to our parents who have worked hard to give us the best education available for our future. To express our appreciation for our parents, I would like to invite the class to hand off their stole of gratitude as a symbol 
to pay our special tribute to the people who have shaped our lives. Thank you, graduates. You may now go back to your seats. Everyone is also requested to settle down as we continue with the ceremony. We have come to the conclusion of today's program. We would like to invite once again, Mr. Defli Yosia Kairupan to lead the closing prayers and everyone is requested to stand. Okay, let us all pray. Lord God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from this day on with the goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. May God blessing follow you as you find the new journey to travel. May you walk safely along the pathway of your dreams. May his gentle hand guide the decisions that you will make and the patience that you follow. May your hearts and lives always reflect his love and truth. And may hope be alike within you that you carry into each new day. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Please be seated. I would like to invite Michelle Prayogo and Buyudi on the stage now. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank all teachers, staff, and everyone who helped us along the way. Take this as a symbol of gratitude.
At this time, the graduates will lead us in the school hymn, followed immediately by the faculty recessional. The faculty and audience are requested to stand for the school hymn and, remaining, and remain standing for the, for the faculty recession, followed by the graduates. John.
As you celebrate the completion of this phase in your life today, we hope and believe that Bina Bangsa School has given you the education and skills you will need in whatever endeavors you will undertake in the future. Once again, congratulations to the graduates and their parents, and good morning.
I would like to request for the faculty and guests to be seated as we hold our photo session. For JC students, please line up on the sides. Again, I would like to call on our junior college students to line up beside the primary six students. Primary graduates, please make your way to the stage for your class picture. <laughs> 